Welcome back to Deer Valley Homestead. My name's Andy, and this week we are looking at our rabbits. We've had our rabbits for about six months now, and it's time they go into some permanent homes. The first stage of this is looking after the two litters that we have. We have Steger's litter with seven kits, and we have Oreo's kitter with five kits. Steger's babies are now ready to be weaned, and they need to be separated for that to happen. So the first stage of this project is going to be building two rabbit tractors. We keep French Lops, and the good thing with French Lops is they take a long time to reach sexual maturity, so it's okay to keep the boys and the girls together for a while. I think in the future we'll breed our rabbits all at the same time, so that when we get to the point that they need to go into the grow out cages or rabbit tractors, they will be able to all go in there together, boys in one and girls in the other. So the plan is to make two rabbit tractors. The idea is pretty simple. The goal of using a rabbit tractor or a grow out tractor is just to give your rabbits all that extra natural food. It saves you money and gives them extra space. You move it along one spot each day, much like a chicken tractor, and off you go.
all of this tractor has been designed around the mesh. So I have mesh that is one meter. So it is exactly one meter. And that just makes life easy for me, less time cutting mesh. The sides are 60 and 40. And what that means is that I can put these two tractors bottom to bottom and roll the mesh all the way down the two tractors. This morning it's finally time to move the kits into the new rabbit tractors. It's quite a process involved in this because we need to wean them, we need to sex them and we need to clean their old cages ready for new arrivals as well. So basically all day it's going to be about rabbits and maybe some ducks. What's up guys? So the rough plan is like this. The kits are going to go into their new tractors. Stiga is going to go into her old home. Oreo is going to move into Stiga's home with her babies. That means all the cages need to be cleaned, everybody needs fresh food, everybody needs fresh water. Just to make it that little bit more difficult, it has rained for the last six days, which means I'm about three days behind on cleaning the rabbits, so it's a rotten mess. So that is Stiga, Devil and Johnny's cage cleaned out. Now I need to move the new rabbit tractor down to where it's going to be. I need to attach the roof, seal up the back and then we'll put some baby bunnies in there. And we're going to take the other one down, do the same thing and Stiga is going to live in there for the next week or two while we're weaning the kits. We'll do some kind of rotation where we'll take two kits out the first night and put them back in, three kits out the second night and we'll just change them over slowly so she gets that slow reduction on her milk and they get that slow reduction in food. They are all eating solid food already. They don't need her milk anymore. So now it's just a case of doing it the best way for Steve.
Okay, well, that is this place ready. I have a water system that's coming, so for now they just have a bowl and they don't have any food at the moment because there's so much food in here for them already. I'm gonna let them out, I'm gonna leave you guys here. You can watch them explore their second piece of grass. I say the second piece because they did escape uh, about a week ago at four in the morning and came out to take Beata to the airport and we had seven bunnies running around the garden. Always fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go and clean some more animal cages. You don't need to see that. You guys can watch the cute bunnies. You guys ready? Hello. He's coming out first. You want to? Oh, well done. Do you need some help or can you manage? I know you can manage, you've escaped a few times. There you go. All right, enjoy your freedom, guys. Enjoy your freedom. What about you, Mama? Oh yeah, you're happy. How is it possible? You haven't even been here two minutes when he's pooped in the water. Okay, antisocial.
it has now been just under 18 hours and this is how much they've eaten. Well team, thank you very much for watching. As always, please comment, like and subscribe. And here's a look at our egg thief. Catch you on the next one.